very warm welcome to the Paris Smith Charity Forum. So our first speaker today is Steve Mallinson, the Chief Executive of LocalGiving.com. Um, only 7% of donations in the UK go to small charities. More than half don't accept donations online, which is a big shame. You can raise a lot of money for your group online uh, if you just get organised. Second speaker is Sarah Whedon. Today, Sarah is going to talk about fraud and related issues in the charity sector. The National Fraud Authority put the estimated cost to register charities across the UK at £147.3 million. No charity can regard itself as being immune to the risk of financial crime. Now it's not realistic for me to stand here and say that you can eliminate all risk of fraud, but the outcome your charity will want to achieve is to reduce the risk to the lowest level possible. There are real tangible benefits to getting risk management right. Claudia is going to talk to us about managing investments, in particular sustainable and thematic investment. By 2050, we are going to be 9.6 billion people in the planet. More than 60% of those people are going to be living in the cities. The challenge is about how we serve this growing, rapid growing population in the urban areas. Why is it um, relevant to charities at all? More and more we see that charities are saying what we want to invest in, the things that we want to see in our portfolios. And they are mentioning those sectors and technologies that sustainable investments focus on. And it is investing in those companies on behalf of clients that are offering solutions to the very challenging time that we live in, to the environmental and economic challenges of urbanization and a rapid growing population. I'm delighted uh, that we are joined today by William Shawcross, the chairman of a charity commission who is giving us our keynote speech. One of the things that has stu struck me most uh, since I became chairman of the Charity Commission is the extraordinary breadth of charitable organisations. I think, like William Beveridge, the founder of the welfare state, he's, he described charity, and I agree with him, as a golden thread running through the living tapestry of our national history. Public trust in charities is the oxygen that they need to succeed. The public will and the desire to give, volunteer and contribute depends on that trust. Um, and it's absolutely fascinating the, the, the extent, as I said at the beginning, to which charitable activity permeates in a wonderful way every aspect of our society. Thank you very much indeed for listening.